Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Remarketing in Jackson, Mississippi. <coughs> Those of you who watch our sales know that over the past four or five years, Dan and I have literally sold hundreds and hundreds of, of diesel trucks. We've sold them of all shapes and forms, folks. We have to have a truck that you can't run down the street to your dealer and find because we only sell on eBay. We don't have salespeople and all that. That's why our prices are the way they are. We have to have a truck that's reliable because we don't sell locally. All of our customers come from far away. So we buy a good truck. We've got a good truck we're gonna to sell today, a beautiful truck, folks. Let me tell you something about it, too. I doubt very seriously that if you, if, if you had a drone and a GPS, you could find one of these trucks equipped like that. It is just absolutely beautiful, runs and drives perfectly, and you're gonna like everything about it. I do, I'm telling you, this is a grand truck. It's a 2009 Ford F-350 Lariat. It's a Ford F-350 Lariat turbo diesel. It's only got 101,000 miles on it, folks. Only 101,000 miles, and it has been tuned, and it has been deleted. So all that's out of your way, saves you thousands of dollars. It's an F-350 one ton. Now the problem with that that makes it so different, folks, not a problem, what makes it so different is generally, or always for us, when we've sold a lot of these F-350 one-ton single wheel uh, uh, wheel drive trucks, but they've always been long wheelbase. This is a short wheelbase and a cool looking truck. It's got a spray-in bed liner, a turnover ball, the bed is beautiful. What that means is, you know, if you need need a turnover ball, uh, then that, that'll save you literally hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Don't think that you run out and get a turnover ball put in for a few hundred dollars because you can't. You're talking about twelve, fifteen hundred dollars This truck is equipped with about every, the only thing I can think of or see that you could put on it that it doesn't have is a moonroof. And who wants a moonroof in a truck? Uh, it's got a backup camera. It's got navigation. It's got it all. A beautiful, beautiful truck. Sitting on a good set of tires goes down the road just like it should. Absolutely no rust issues. And a beautiful paint job. This paint is really pretty. It's a forest green paint. I don't know what more to call it. And someone customized it. They put this bed liner type material down the side to keep from picking it up. Some people will like it, some won't. I like it a lot. It makes a lot of sense. Just like this truck, period. So we're going to show you a couple of just small things that I can pick, and then you'll know exactly what you're getting because you'll be tickled with this truck. You see, beautiful, beautiful color F350 Lariat, Super Duty, one ton, turbo diesel, keyless entry. Look inside, folks. The leather's beautiful, the carpets are beautiful. We've got two sets of keys and remotes. You can see it's got heated seats, dual zone, automatic climate, navigation. It's got the power folding mirrors. They fold and they go, they extend when you're towing. You can run them in and out. Seats are not let me, torn. Let me show you this carpet. This carpet is beautiful, folks. Inside and out, the headliner's perfect. It is a non-smoker's truck. Not a mark on that headliner. I mean, this is, look in here, let me show you, I always show you this, because I don't care, folks, if a, if a, if a truck has ever been on a farm or a job site, you cannot clean it up and make it look like that. So if, if you watch someone doing a video or showing pictures of a truck and they don't show you that, they don't show you this kick panel, trust me, it's been on a job site. And like as not the miles are not correct, but look back here, absolutely immaculate. These flip up and you got to fold. Um, you can flip the seats up out of the way and have extra room for storage. You can see here there's a little scratch. You probably won't see it. Doesn't mean anything. See this Ford did all the paint work on this truck, folks. Under here, a local truck. Absolutely not a sign of rust anywhere. Spares underneath it just like it should be. I really like it. There's a little spot right here that you can't see. Uh, in the video and you won't be able to see it in person, but it's four-wheel drive off-road package 
look at this tailgate, how it works, just the way it should. Got your hookups here. Turn over bed liner. You can see this bed's not beat up in any way. Absolutely not beat up. There's your backup camera right yep. there. Look down the side. I didn't close it. Look down the side. No, no rock picks, not skinned up and all that. This is a wonderful truck, folks. It's only got 101,000 miles, 2009, and they don't get any prettier than this. Under here, we're not just showing you the TV side on the other way. No rust, no spots, no stain, no pecs, no dings. You can't imagine, folks, the auctions we go to and the places we go and how many trucks we look at to find one, to find one like this. Uh, carpets as new. There's all your books in here. Once again, inside here in the kick panels and all, you can see no dirt, no dirt, you know, no mud. Power on both sides. Backup camera. Just a good looking truck. Sometimes these headliners show up uh, with shadows and everything on them, folks, but trust me, this headliner is absolutely like new. No odors. Can't stress that enough. Uh, see under here, this truck is absolutely just the way it ought to be. Look at the, the headlines. The grill's not peeling. Nope. No peeling anywhere there. Your tow hooks. Uh, front hitch. You got a front hitch, which is pretty cool, actually. You can use it. has a lot more uses than you would think. But you can't find a truck any nicer than this, folks. I, I, I don't care where you look. You're not going to find one any nicer. And you're certainly, certainly not going to find one any cheaper. Your local Ford dealer would ask you eight, ten thousand dollars more than we're going to sell this truck to. You. Invite you to go shop, check, see if you can find one like this. Should you have a question about this truck, give us a call. Call Dan anytime 601-720-2857. Uh, if you want to know what we'll take for it, we pay all of our sales fees up front. We reserve the right to stop the sale. We sell it only through eBay. You'll have the eBay, eBay buyer protection plan and all that. Give us a call, 601-720-2857. This is a grand truck. It's a truck that you can't just run down the street and find. I doubt very seriously that a Ford dealer in your town's got one like it. It's a 2009 Ford F-350 turbo diesel, four-wheel drive, Lariat, one-ton, short wheel base that's immaculate inside and out. So if your cousin says he saw one or his niece's nephew saw one of these trucks and oh, it was this amount, well, he didn't, folks. They, this is the first one we've seen and we go to sales all over the country and we look for these diesel trucks that are like this. We love them. Our customers love them. This truck has been driven and checked out. Dan's going to give you a demo ride on it. You'll like everything about it. 101,000 miles is all, as I said, and the big feature to this truck also, folks, is that it's already been tuned, it's already been deleted, that's hundreds of dollars you're saving. This truck is ready to go for lots of hundreds of thousands of miles. Well, this truck gets by here. Thank you so much for watching our video, we do appreciate it. Please give us a call if you have any questions. Or you want to buy it please give us a call call us at any time and we look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thanks hi folks dan Dale here you've been listening to my dad talk about this truck now i'm going to take you on a test drive but before i do just want to show you a couple things under the hood here first of all you can see these bolts have had impact wrenches on them so what that means is you don't have to worry about the radiator because it's been changed these are a good pair of batteries in it. Got an aftermarket high flow intake. And we do not clean under the hood of the trucks. This is just how clean it was when it came in. You can see, you know, it's not covered in that mud residue. Now, it's got a little bit of smoke, which, you know, people think smoke means blow by. It doesn't as long as it's not puffing. The main thing is I can set this cap down and you can see it doesn't blow off. If it blows off, it means you've got cylinder pressure getting by the crankcase 
and you got a wore out engine but not the case with this one you can look at our old videos every 6.4 ever made from day one just about has got smoke in it um, that's just how they are and i'm gonna get the uh the radio off whatever goofy ass station excuse me goofy station my clean up man's had it on this truck like dad said just one of those that's hard to find a, a lariat in an f-350 in a short cab but let's take it down the road you can see or uh, maybe you can't now you can you can see backup camera it works now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because i'm driving with one hand and filming with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of jackson so the video may come out a little shaky but rest assured the truck itself has got a great ride and drive no problems with any of that i'm gonna pull over here for just a second and uh go over just a couple things you can see dual zone climate it's got the uh, upfitter switches tow command power adjustable pedals navigation this will play dvds you got fm switch, switch back over fm I'm, I'm leaving the little plastic on it because this is literally a brand new um, setup so it's got a like a one-year warranty or something from Amazon. If you ever have problems, you can contact me and we'll take care of it. Send it back. Got a remote control, so you can do everything through the remote. And it's got your USB plugs. You can turn stuff up, down. You can uh, tie it into your Bluetooth to your phone. Do all that good stuff. Now we'll get on the road here. One thing you can take away from this truck is that uh, even though even though we're on some of the roughest roads in the city of Jackson, there's no rattles. There's no squeaks, doesn't make any weird noises. The only thing I can nitpick on this truck, you can see the uh, tire pressure lights on. So I'll have to check, double check the tire pressures. These tires run at a uh, lot higher pressure than your regular average tire. So, um, Odds are I got one low tire. Worst case, you may need a sensor. They're like 10 or $20 on Amazon. Uh, something we're more than likely to take care of. But if we do, you know, just consider that a bonus because we we're, we got so much going on, we're subject to forget. So if it's an issue, just ask us. But it's, this truck has, you can see the power mirrors work. We already showed you the power fold and power telescope, all that stuff works. Got the automatic dimming rear view mirror. Now there are some little light scratches you can't hardly see in the glass of that rear view mirror, but nothing to worry about. It's got the built-in garage door transmitter, got your sunglasses holder, a big storage pocket. Uh, no cracks in the dash, no engine lights on, no brake lights, no warning lights of any kind. This steering wheel is just in excellent condition. I don't know if you can see it, but the leather's not ripped or torn. The color's nice. Um, does have the manual shift on the transfer case, which I really like. Put it four wheel drive. You don't have to worry about vacuum lines going out or uh, solenoids going bad or anything like that. You just yank her in the four-wheel drive and go which is really the way it ought to be because 
on a heavy duty truck, a three quarter ton, you're not gonna have shift on the fly anyway, because transfer cases are too heavy duty. But um, anyway, I don't know if you pointed out, there's one tiny little rock pick there, one tiny little rock pick there. Nothing to speak of really, but we try and, and point out any flaws that we notice just because we know most of you are from up north you're buying these sight unseen you're buying them from out of town uh, most of you end up shipping them so we don't want somebody when this comes off the transport truck or when you fly in to get it we don't want anybody mad over a little rock peck or a scuff or whatever um, so we try and go over all that stuff up front so there's no misunderstanding isn't it don't get me wrong this is a real nice truck i'm not trying to make it sound otherwise we just try and cover everything for you so you know what you're buying and we don't want to risk bad feedback over a, a rock pick so anyway that being said um, i'm gonna get on the in, get it out on the interstate here for you you may notice it does have parking sensors it's got a traction control system which believe it or not traction control is optional that beepens the map somebody's plugged in a destination playing around with it i'm not headed that direction but you can turn the notification volumes up or down you can even turn on voice guidance although i got that turned off i hate voice guidance but uh, you can turn it on the navigation system does all that does it all for you um, the other good thing dad pointed out this truck deleted you are over the speed limit and tuned uh, i'm gonna have to turn that notification off too i don't care how fast i'm going <laughs> i've never heard one tell you you're going over the speed limit i'm doing 60 and a 55 but i'll disable all that before you pick it up don't worry because what i was getting at is this truck's deleted and tuned now what that means is the dpf has been taken off the truck and the engine has been tuned so it's no longer trying to clean the dpf because the way ford set these engines up to clean the dpf is by dumping a bunch of extra fuel in the rear two cylinders to basically burn the soot out and what happens is well first of all it just kills the fuel economy and second of all if you don't keep on top of your oil changes eventually that fuel will slowly seep past the piston rings get in the crankcase then your oil out and you'll end up with all kinds of problems but not the case with this truck it, it's not a it's not a souped up tune you know it's not one of these 800 horsepower tunes it doesn't roll coal it doesn't blow a bunch of smoke um, it's just a good tow tune gives us about an extra 50 horsepower or so so you're looking around 400 horsepower basically the same as a new one and but it having it deleted just drastically drastically increases your fuel economy now if you drive it right this truck will get 20 miles per gallon or more because you know all the all that dpf and junk is gone it's not dumping all the extra fuel into the cylinders the restriction is removed it's got a high flow exhaust so you can um, get really really good mileage with these trucks and you know we sell a lot of 6.0s but uh, you know, I like the engines myself but these have a lot more power than 6.0 and uh, you don't have you don't have to do the things to these engines to make them reliable that you have to do on a six liter these trucks are basically bulletproof right off the bat after you've done the um after you've done the uh, warranty on the um, the radiator then you're all set so i'm going to start messing around with these notifications that's going to be crazy uh, anyway i'll do that later <coughs> the only thing you have to remember on these engines you've got to change the oil every 5,000 miles 
you've got to change the fuel filters every other oil change and you've got to use four filters our four dealer charges a hundred bucks for an oil and filter change and, and honestly you can't hardly go buy 15 quarts of oil and the four filters for much less than that so why would you doesn't make any sense just uh have the ford dealer do it now i would do the fuel filter myself because ford charges what i think's uh, a little exorbitant amount for me to do the labor on the fuel filter change because it's really it's, it's simple to do but if you're not mechanically inclined it's not that bad just do it every other oil change and you know drain your water separator about once a month whether the water and fuel light comes on or not odds are it won't but drain it once a month you do that kind of stuff you know just the the basic kind of uh, preventative maintenance and these trucks will literally they'll go forever um, and if you if you want to you can fly in and drive this truck home I wouldn't hesitate to drive it anywhere we'll be glad to uh, pick you up at the airport we'll bring you back go do your paperwork all that good stuff uh, rid of all this things where it beeps I'm turning all this off I don't need to know there I don't have to listen to it uh, minimal speed warning settings we'll just put it on visual and crank it up to where I have to be really speeding for it to warn me so takes care of that now we're all set no more backseat dashboard drivers all good but anyway like I said pick you up at the airport bring you back here do the paperwork let you get on the road we do this all the time we make it a smooth easy transaction or if you prefer a lot of people we know and, and understand I'm gonna crank it back up so you can see how quick it cranks um, a lot of people don't have time to ship don't have I mean don't have time to fly in and drive one home so we'll be glad to work with you on shipping don't be scared off by the first quotes you get on shipping because if you're not in a hurry and you can wait on an empty spot then you can get a lot better deal so just call me especially if you're near dallas orlando or um, dallas orlando or atlanta i can get you a good deal so if you have any questions give me a call 601-376-9869 or um, call dad 601-218-1223 we'll be glad to discuss it with you talk pricing talk um talk about how this delete works any of that just give us a call we appreciate you watching this video look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thank you